Matt, where are you? Uh, somewhere. Strip bar downstairs? Cool. That's exactly where we want to be. <laughs> so, um, can go ahead. Cool. Hey, what's up? We're here downstairs in the spectrum with uh, John from Goldfinger, not Charlie, not Charlie. Um, Charlie's much more well hung than myself. I really <laughs> do. Anyways, uh, mine's pretty. Anyways, um, we're playing, we're playing. They're playing. <laughs> With uh, Sugar Ray and Sadie Ferris tonight. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, so to get started, or I guess, yeah. So, uh, huh? how long have you guys been on tour? Uh, we've been on tour for nine months on this record now. Nine and, months? Uh, this is, yeah, this is our second day with, uh, with the Sugar Ray thing, but we've been headlining all the other shows. First three months were with Voodoo Glow Skulls, and then we did some shows with the Aqua Bats and Sadie Ferris, and now we're here. How how is like the whole Voodoo Glow Skulls thing? It was yeah. dope, man. Those guys are so rad. I mean, they've been doing this shit forever, you know. And yeah. it's just like they know what's going on. Cool. And how long are you gonna guys have with uh, Sugar Ray? Uh, we're doing a month and a half. Month and a half. Uh, where's that taking you? But uh, just basically straight down the East Coast uh, through the South and then back home up to San Francisco to L.A. Shit. So it's actually not that. It's actually a pretty short tour for us. Uh, yeah, a month and a half. Not so bad. How long have you guys been together now? Five years. As Goldfinger? As Goldfinger. And before that, was there any other bands? Like I was in a million thousand bands. He was in a million thousand bands. He was in so the speed metal band called Beyond Death, right? And like a hardcore band called uh, uh, Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance. If you're an East Coast guy, you might know him. Zero Tolerance. Cool. And um, how long have you been playing guitar for? Um, I've been playing guitar for five years, but I've been singing forever. I, mean, I played bass in the first few bands I was in. Huh. And what do you consider yourself more now? Do you consider yourself more just a... Uh, um, do you consider yourself a guitarist slash singer more, or do you consider yourself more of just a, a ska guy? <laughs> <laughs> a, a ska guy. I'm definitely not not a ska guy at all, but I, I, I and I'm way more of a, I'm not a very good guitar player. I'm good at like, you know, my right hand's really good, but my left hand kind of sucks. Uh, you know what I mean? Gotta start switch hitting. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. I, but I, yeah, I do spank with my left hand, which <laughs> would be like, I mean, it, it would make sense that my left hand would be good, but it's not. Oh, work it harder. Cool, and um, what do you have future plans in the next upcoming year? Um, well, I know we're going to hopefully do some shows with the Foo Fighters. I, I love that band in, in the summertime. And then uh, maybe go to Europe to do some festivals. And, you know, I, I think we're going to do a whole Canadian tour in uh, probably June or July. Oh, sweet. And the first time I, yeah, was, I think it was the first time you guys here was with No Doubt? Um, yeah, that was the only time I've been there. Yeah, you Montreal. guys have only been here once, and how that, how did you guys find that with No Doubt? It was rad. Those guys are cool, man. They're really good. I mean, they've been doing. They've been playing for 12 years now, and it's like it was so great to see how they got huge on that tour we were on with them. Yeah. You know, two years ago, and it was just like it was so great to see a bunch of people deserve success to actually get success. So, so you consider them like a hardworking band? Very hardworking band. So, what other bands would you consider like that, like nowadays in the pop ska? Um, band? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, Real Big Fish are kind of lazy. I think they don't like touring that much, but uh, Stones out absolutely deserve it. You know. And bands okay. like Less Than Jake and stuff like that? Um, I don't really know much about that band. I mean, the Machines uh, seem to be a really good band. So they're, they're getting a new drummer now, I guess, so I don't know what's going to happen with them. But, uh, I mean, to me, it's like the Boss Tones and, and No Doubt have been together the longest, and they, I mean, Boss Tones really kind of created what a lot of these bands play now, you know? Cool. And who do you find yourself listening to, like, on the bus or at home? What do you find yourself, you yourself find yourself listening to more now? Um... Well, we're talking about the new Bouncing Souls I've been listening to a lot, and I love the new Green Day record. Yeah. So good, Great. you know. But I still listen to a lot of stuff, a lot of 80s music. I, mean, I love The Police, they're my favorite band. You know, I listen to a lot of them. I listen to a lot of Elvis Costello, you know, Joe Jackson, Bob Marley. So you listen to, like, more of the, the creators of, like, music? Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, what, do you, what do you think now of the whole explosion of, uh, like, ska? Uh, not just in, like, the punk or whatever form, but in, like, in general now everyone seems to be digging that. Things like, even like everyone seems to own the Specials album. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think that's a good thing? Um, I think it's a good thing if people research it, like you're talking about, if, if you know, people that get turned on to Ska by, say, say Ferris, and then uh, then they go out and they, you know, collect, you know, Bad Manners or, or the Specials, yeah. or the Beat or Madness. You know, I think that's good because, I mean, my favorite era of that kind of music was, you know, the two-tone era, you know, and that's when all those bands had great songs, you know, the, at least the ones that kind of carried through. So... Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of annoying because I, I I mean, all my favorite shows have always been punk shows, and I mean, like Social Distortion and TSOL yeah, yeah, yeah. are all my favorite bands. So it's like I mean, I come from like, I like hardcore shows. 
You know, I mean, ska shows are fun if you're with a date and you can go dance, but I mean, yeah. they're like, no stage diving and none of this. It's just like, fuck that, man. It's just like, I mean, I like energy. I like shows, you know what I mean? I like running around in a circle. I like stage diving, yeah. you know what I mean? When I go see shows. So it's kind of like, I mean, under under that circumstance, I mean, the traditional ska people probably, you know, I'm sure hate our band, you know, but that's just not what we're about. We're not about, like, you know, skanking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would know. What do you, what's your opinion, like, think, what do you think of, like, reunions? And like uh, kind of like the specials reunion and stuff like that. Uh, how do you like take that? Do you take that as a good thing or is the band ran out of heroin money? Or <laughs> no, actually, I, I think um, we we've done a bunch of shows for the specials and they're really yeah. really cool guys. And um, Neville's come and sung with us on a few occasions. And same with uh, Linville, their guitar player showed up in Seattle and, and we did nightclub with them. And and I think they're still writing good songs. And and you know what? If you want to play music, I don't think you have to quit because you reach. 30, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like if you still want to play and you're doing it for just because you want to play music, that's fine. You know, they're, and they still go off live, man. They are crazy. It's not like they're like just old men just standing there. They they, they go off. Cool. And um, so what do you? And also, what do you find like? What do you like more than if you're gonna when you write a song, do you go into it like that? You want to write you want to write a, a punk song or you want to write a ska song or does it just come out like that? Um, it just kind of comes out like that. It depends on the chords. I mean. It, I'll, I'll write a song on acoustic and it'll be like a folk song, really. I mean, I could, I mean, I, most of our songs you could pretty much sing, yeah. you know, like that. And then whatever kind of the feel, it, I feel it, it turns into that. It's not like I go, well, we have 60 punk songs, we need to have 14 ska songs. I mean, it's like whatever. Yeah. I don't care, you know what I mean? It's just like whatever the song feels like it should be is what it should be. Cool. And finally, um, when you guys, like, one day, well, it seems to be with me, um, when you woke up one morning and you found uh, they're playing, like, the radios and MTV or whatnot was playing here in your bedroom. Like uh, more than like most of you, like other video get played. What did you guys like? What was your feelings towards that? Were you guys happy? I was stoked, man. I mean, I remember when I visited my, uh, I visited my aunt down in L.A. when I was a kid. I grew up in Northern California. I go down there and and I was I just remember like, eleven, twelve at night. I was listening to my headphones on on on, on K Rock because I because I had all the Rodney and the Rock compilations, you know, when I was growing up. And I remember Rodney and the Rock was they they played like Social Distortion and Agent Orange and all these bands on the radio. And I was like, I couldn't believe it because I was you know a three year old kid, you know, and it was like that was. That was then. Then I turned on the radio one morning and they were playing our song, and I just like I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? I just couldn't believe it. Cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot, the John from Goldfinger. Cool. Um, can you guys do? Can you do an ID? Like, yeah, no uh, problem. John from, and watch Punk Fire. All right. Cool. Hey, this is John from Goldfinger, and you're watching Punk Empire. Sweet. Cool. cool. Thanks a lot, man. No thanks problem. All right.